Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the fabrication steps involved in the creation of PMOS transistor. In the previous video, I have explained how to create the NMOS transistor. This video is for the creation of PMOS transistor. So, the first one, step one. So, what type of transistor we are creating? Like a PMOS transistor means opposite is the substrate. So, for PMOS transistor, we should consider N type substrate. So, consider N substrate. Consider N substrate. So, take a rectangular shaped N type substrate. Here it is N type substrate. And the indication for the N type substrate is once like this. Okay, horizontal, vertical line, horizontal line, vertical line like this. Now, the second step is oxidation. Using oxidation, using the process called oxidation, create 1 micrometer SiO2 layer on the substrate. Create 1 micrometer SiO2 layer on the substrate. So, how it is created? So, take the same rectangular shaped N type substrate. Now, deposit the oxide layer on the N type substrate. Oxide layer indication is dots. Now, when oxide layer is created and uh, uh, what is that? Uh, reacted with this silicon substrate, it simply creates a silicon dioxide layer with 1 micrometer thickness. Again, there are two types of oxidation techniques available. One is the thin oxidation and another one is thick oxidation. Okay, here we are using thick oxidation. Thick oxidation means creating 1 micrometer. Thin oxidation means creating 0.1 micrometer. Okay. Next. So, what is the step 3? We need to vacate this particular place from here to here. So, how to vacate this? Using the process called photolithography. So, step 3, apply, apply photoresist layer. Apply photoresist layer. So, apply photoresist layer on the substrate. So, what's So, oxide layer we are having here and it is a photoresist layer, N type substrate. Now, step 4 apply ultraviolet rays, apply ultraviolet rays through a mask. Where we need to keep the mask, mask should be kept wherever you want to remove the oxidation layer. Okay, if I want to remove the oxidation layer at the center, I want to use the mask at the center of this substrate. <coughs> Sorry, it is n-type substrate. Now, it is the oxyl layer and this one is the photoresist layer. This is the indication, oxal layer dots. Now, take this mask, glass mask and apply UV rays. Apply UV rays. So, mask should be at the center. Like this. Now, what is the next step? Step 5. So, what is happening when UV rays touches this area, this area where whichever area is exposed to this UV rays that will be hardened and remaining areas are soft. So, we can remove the soft area by process called etching. So, etch or remove soft area, remove soft area by the process called by the process called what is that etching 
okay so what happens now we will be having this structure now and type material we are having oxy layer here and here oxy layer at this end okay so next one step 6 so what else we need to do now at the gate terminal we are having a polysilicon beneath the polysilicon we are having 0.1 micrometer oxy layer so 0.1 micrometer oxy layer means which process we need to use thin oxidation so using thin oxidation using thin oxidation create 0.1 micrometer SiO2 on the substrate so again do the same process that's why when I was explaining the steps in the manufacturing of this mass transistor oxidation and photolithography will come for multiple times okay this is the original structure now we have deposited this one micrometer this is the n type substrate now again step 7 using CVD technique chemical vapor deposition technique create polysilicon or deposit polysilicon at the center nothing but at the gate so taking the same structure again here we have an oxy layer here we have an oxy layer and here oxy layer with polysilicon at the center okay now what would be the next step using photolithography remove this particular area and this particular area for the diffusion technique okay so that process is using photolithography okay again photolithography is nothing but application of photoresist layer applying uv rays etching process are there okay in among these three i am not writing i am writing the final uh, mixing of these three is nothing but photolithography so photolithography or lithography create window structure for diffusion okay so here we have oxy layer as usual at the center now we have a polysilicon layer under that we are having thin oxide again oxy layer and type diffusion and type substrate now we need to diffuse p here and p here so step 9 diffuse p type region nothing but trivalent impurities we need to pass through it p type regions then okay p uh, sorry n type substrate here oxy layer diffusion here here a polysilicon layer is there oxy layer and here it is oxy layer now it is p region and it is p region okay it is n type substrate okay what is the next one what next one is to deposit oxy layer again on the entire substrate okay so step 10 using oxidation using oxidation deposit oxide 
on entire substrate entire substrate so how it looks like it is n type now we have two p regions developed and polysilicon created and this is the structure here we have polysilicon below that we have oxide layer now again oxidation layer on the entire surface okay so this is the oxidation layer this is p type and this is p type now step 11 is nothing but creating contacts when wherever you want to do the metallization okay so contact we need to create here here and here so create contacts creating contacts is nothing but creating contact cuts you can call it as contact cut creating contact cut is nothing but removing the oxide layer and only in those three areas using using removing is nothing but photolithography photolithography okay so now we will be having a perfect area to deposit metal layer or aluminum on the entire substrate so it is p region it is p region it is n type oxide layer will be up to here again here this will be the structure okay now here we need to deposit metal here metal here metal then it will create contacts so step 12 final step is nothing but deposit metal layer on the surface at the contacts and extend copper wires copper wires then the final structure will be there sorry this is p type this is p type and it is n type substrate okay so here we have oxy layer like this oxy layer is for insulation okay to avoid contacts with the other devices we are having metal here metal here metal here so here also metal will be poured on the entire substrate but I am not including those uh, such many steps if you want to write each and every steps that will become 15 to 16 steps may come but this is okay this is sufficient gate source and drain so uh, keeping the metal at the contacts and remaining will be eliminated and these three wires will be extended to get the contacts with them okay this is the final structure of the PMOS transistor PMOS transistor PMOS so for PMOS transistor we should consider n type substrate opposite is the case okay thank you